Solid Edge supports the process of designing your parts for 3D printing with many built-in tools such as generative design and a dedicated 3D print dashboard. Generative design in Solid Edge allows you to optimize weight and create lighter weight components with respect to design goals and constraints. We will start with the model we created with simple base features. In order to do a generative design, the model have to be assigned a material. After all, it's not made out of nothing. You can right-click on the material and apply material to your model. Solid Edge allows to assign all types of material, including metals, non-metals, as well as standard or commonly used materials. After assigning materials, click on the Generative Design tab located along the top ribbon. We will create a study by clicking on the New Generative Study command. On the left side of the screen, there are different interfaces available for easier navigation. Hover over the Generative Design button and the screen will automatically pull out from the left side of the screen. You can dock the interface by clicking on the pin icon. First, define a design space to run the study on. In this case, we select the model and preserve the region around the hole. You can use the preserve region to preserve any face or area around significant model features such as holes. In this scenario, imagine the bottom of our model is fixed and there is a force pushing on the right side. Apply a force on the right side of the model with offset of about 1 mm and fix constraint on the other end and the model is ready for study. Selecting the Generate button allows for modifying different options for the study such as the percentage weight that you may need reduced. Once the study is generated, you can see your new optimized model. SolidEdge also offers a dedicated 3D print tab that can aid in preparing, validating, and exporting your models. You can use commands such as physical thread, lead voids, and rearrange your model in preparation of 3D printing. Wall thickness and overhang aids you in validating that your model is ready for the 3D print process. Each model design requires different tolerances, so you want to make sure to keep that in mind when asking SolidEdge to compare and contrast different options such as wall thickness. In this case, let's test out the overhang of this model. Choosing the maximum overhang, we can run the overhang analysis to see where the model needs support material in order to be 3D printed. The analysis returns a highlighted color display of all faces that are more than the maximum overhang angle in red. All the faces that are less than the maximum angle are displayed as green. In order not to have any support material, we can reorient the model to be flat on the 3D printer bed. We can use the reorient command to do this quickly and easily. And finally, exporting allows for the quick STL export of your model. STL is the file tab needed for 3D printing. SolidEdge also offers a unique 3D print dashboard that allows exporting your model, configuring a 3D printer size to see how or if your model fits, and configure options such as conversion tolerance. Furthermore, if you do not own a 3D printer, you can use the Order Online button to order your part online. In this video, you learn about Generative Design, 3D Print Tab, and 3D Print Dashboard available in SolidEdge.